Good morning. So, my hubby gets up early in the morning. Yeah? Yeah? You heard me, you can't see me. He gets up super early in the morning, head off to work, and apparently, as he was leaving the house, he sees an escaped cow. So he had to spend quite a while wrangling up my cow. <laughs> but with that said, that means something's wrong with my fence. So I came out to figure out what happened, why <laughs> my cow was able to get out. And I had a branch, of course, land on my fence and shorted it out because I pushed it up against the one metal fence and so yeah it wasn't working which meant she could oh, now I gotta try to get it off there hold on there we go uh meant she could just walk right over it so I had to come hi Max I was like what are you doing <laughs> yeah interesting it's like what are you doing lady Apparently, he's like, what is she doing? She's crazy. Hopefully that's the only problem. I brought the fence tester out, so we will grab that. I'm just gonna do a quick glance through here. Make sure there's nothing else touching. <laughs> I've been busted. They're like, she's in the pen. Alert, alert, she's in the pen. Just kind of glancing through here, because Well, it's not my fault you're out here causing problems. Okay, so it looks like, for the most part, it looks good. Get out of here. I forgot my one tool. Um, we'll go turn the fence back on, grab my fence tester, make sure that's working. Oh, big old snake right there. Yeah, big old fatty. He goes are like, she's up. Why isn't she feeding us? The cows are saying the same thing too. We'll grab the fence tester. Now that I got my Amumus, I got my little helper here. My fence tester. We're gonna check it out, make sure it's actually working. Otherwise, we'll have to run back out. All right, yep, yeah, it's working. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see it. We'll try it, but it's working. So, no more escaped cow. However, we'll show you. The her destruction. What's it like? Little baby frogs, look at that. Little baby frog. I've seen quite a few and they must have recently hatched. Hatched. Yeah. So, cow while she was out and about on her evening or morning stroll, decided she was gonna come through and walk through my garden. She walked through my potatoes. Along the middle there. Thankfully, she didn't eat anything, so that's good. I mean, if she wanted to eat anything, she could eat some weeds. I've been like, sure, eat those weeds. More power to ya. I'll even pay you some grain to eat the weeds. <clears throat> no. Instead, she came over, also into my big garden, and knocked over my cages. Knock that one over a little bit so I gotta straighten it. And she ate part of my pepper plant. Turd. Oh, so, and that wasn't it either. She didn't just stop there. She chomped some of my corn in my pallet. <laughs> We're not done there either. And she started chomping on my corn. She chomped the toppers off. She did quite a few of them. I couldn't believe it. I was like, seriously? Thankfully, I believe she left the beans alone and the broccoli and cauliflower. But she did hit my corn though. Even up here, she got some. So I have to weed and then I need to fix cages and I'll probably get some of the hand weeding done over that direction and then a couple of the rows of the corn today. I'll try to break it up into sections. But first we gotta go get grain since everybody sees that. I'm out and about, so stay tuned. Give them their grain. 
head count. Everybody's here. Still got some grass left over from yesterday. Cows are like, wait a minute. You were with us first. So we'll go do the cows next. So they got their green now. Jumping along. Now back to the next step, which is fixing my cages and doing some hand weeding, which I should find my work gloves. I'm sure where I put those. <clears throat> so I'll have to figure that out. So stay tuned. Got the peppers all hand weeded and fixed. And I did notice when weeding them, I think, I don't know, I think I have like a bug problem or something. So I gotta get that figured out, figure out what kind of bug that would do that and then do what's needed to prevent it. Uh, next we'll do the tomatoes and then we'll scooch over and probably do cauliflower and broccoli check out the beans do my palette and then probably that first row of corn here because that one's pretty weedy and so it's that second row so then we'll probably till tomorrow depending on what i have time wise oh he has something oh he got a froggy let's take a look here hold on you got froggy oh my goodness yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's pretty happy. He has a little froggy. All right, so we're gonna get busy doing the cauliflower and beans. So stay tuned. getting hot and I feel like I'm melting but uh the garden feels really dry and I kind of want to get the sprinkler going on it to get it a good drink because just from the weeding it's dry and they need a good drink so we did get the corn pellet done we got the cauliflower and broccoli done we fixed the tomato plants and the pepper plant uh, cages and weeded them so they're looking good we'll look at doing the carrots I'm a little nervous I pulled one weed and it pulled up some of my little carrots so I don't know be, could be sketchy. That said, I am going to go grab a sprinkler and get that going. Go inside and grab a drink. But if you like this video, click that like button. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring that bell to get all the notifications when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.